Uh, what's the most disappointing part of the season, maybe, for well, you the, or for the Yeah, team? well, I thought the stretch of the season that was the most difficult was the Northern Ohio U, Western Michigan, and certainly Ohio U, Western Michigan, back to back. Um, to me, those two games were, were disappointing. Um, and, and us, now, those are two bowl teams. And we played seven bowl teams during the course of this season, <laughs> of our 12. <clears throat> and um, so we certainly played. Uh, a very good schedule and a lot of good teams. But that two-week span of not playing very well, I thought, against Ohio U and coming back home and not probably having our low point of the season against Western Michigan, um, you know, we needed to be able to snap out of that. Uh, we went to Temple and I thought competed um, against a very good Temple team. Um, just got worn down. And that's the only game really in the season where I really felt our numbers, um, our lack of depth really caught us up to us was certainly in Temple. A couple of guys kind of dis Richard Hall, is he coming back? Richard Hall will be reinstated to the team. We'll have some things we'll have to do once he is reinstated in order to get back into good graces, uh, right, but he okay. will be reinstated. He missed the last two. He missed the last two games, and, yes. Anton, too. Antoine Russell missed the last three. Great. He will be reinstated to the team and, again, be in the same category as Richard. Now, did Doug Richardson miss his eligibility over? Or what? Doug Richardson has one year remaining. He was out for the season with, with, the, with the neck stinger issue. Um, his health continued to get better, but he was not going to be cleared to play. He has one year to return. Okay, and then Sheldon Miller, I just didn't see much of him. He played Saturday quite a bit, I, I thought. I and, you know, he played in our nickel package, our dime package. Um, he played on special teams. Now, is there anybody who didn't play a lot this year that you wish you could have got out in the field longer or more, or, or well, maybe next year you, you know, think, I think as you, fans as you, should watch as for you. As you look at our team going up next year, um, obviously Broderick Alexander has played quite a bit here okay. as a freshman, and with uh, Alex and Nate um, being two seniors graduating, and Broderick was out for the season with some injuries, he should be cleared and healthy uh, as we go into spring practice and uh, be in good shape there. Um, we, we lose... Um, you know, we lose Amando Sewell up front, but Oren Wilson, who will have one year of eligibility, transferred from Michigan State. He did have surgery during the season as we discovered something, but he should be good to go for spring practice, and I would expect him to be a, hopefully a very good player for us. But what we're trying to do with our football program is create competition. And as, as we go into spring practice, we want to create competition. And as we recruit this class and add more guys to our team for the fall, we want to hopefully be able to create competition you know, through that also. Is there any names of players that you think have to make that jump? They call jump. To I mean, no. well, I think our whole team has to make a jump. Oh. Um, our whole team has to continue to grow. Our coaching staff has to continue to grow. Um, but but as we get into year two, um, and we've built a solid foundation here for year one, um, that foundation should continue just to grow. I think every single year. And and fortunately for me, and our staff, um, you know, we we've, we've been in some programs that have built. Um, I got to see it hands-on at Wisconsin. Uh, Kurt Mallory got to see it hands-on at Illinois. Um, Vince Crew got to see it hands-on at Northwestern. Uh, John Latina got to see it hands-on at Kansas State with Bill Snyder. And Mitch Browning got to see it hands-on at Kansas with Coach Mason. So we have a group of coaches that have uh, been through re rebuilding programs and getting them to high levels. And that will add um, to our ability to be able to do this here at Akron. What's the one thing they're going to have to do the most thing they have to do the most better, I guess. Like well, when we get into or... we get into year two. There'll be no surprises now. <coughs> it won't be the first time we're doing things. Um, so as we come back and we get in the weight room and we go through the off-season program, I mean, when you build a program, those things don't change. And as I've said that uh, time and time again, we're going to come back and we're going to uh, attack the weight room in the same manner we did last January. Or the last January that was new. It was a new strength coach. It was a new operation. The off-season program, when we st after recruiting is over, and we get up in the mornings early. That was all new to them last year. They'll know what to expect. Everybody but the, the freshmen who haven't gone through that. So it'll be a continuous cycle of growth now with our program, with our current players, and that'll be a huge positive for us. We have to get stronger, um, and we have to get faster, and we have to get guys in here to help the current guys on the team, which is what we're in the, we're in the middle of doing right now, as we started that active recruiting period yesterday. Um, you know, certainly uh, among the plays they have to build, I guess, would be serious building on the offensive line. And how do you approach that in the offseason? Well, you approach it through um, getting the guys in your program a little bit better, all right, in the weight room and their flexibility. 
Uh, they'll have a much, much better understanding of our system when we go into next year's spring practice. Um, so that'll, that familiarity will be a huge positive for them. And we're going to have to recruit some guys to help. We're going to have to recruit some guys <laughs> here, which we will do in this class. You will see a recruiting class, I think, that has a heavy emphasis on linemen, both offensive and defensive linemen. I mean, just because from a sheer number standpoint in your offensive line. I mean, you yeah, we have to. Yeah. We have to. And as I've said before, we're not going to um, automatically wave a wand and fix our depth issues in one recruiting class. It's going to take two recruiting classes here this year and next year for, for our depth to get to a level um, that it needs to be at to compete at the top level of our of our league and our division. We lost some pretty good uh, leaders in that senior class. Alex Allen, some other people. As you take a look at the junior class, that will be seniors next year. Can you envision some leadership coming out of that? Well, we, we need to have the leadership come. And, and uh, there's guys in my mind that I think should be really good leaders. And there's some guys that I maybe aren't thinking of that I maybe might emerge as leaders mm -hmm. for us. But we need leaders at every position, and we need leaders in every class. And I'm anxious to see how that's going to evolve with our team as, as we move forward. Um, as far as players who improved, and a lot did, but uh, would you say uh, Josh Richmond and Anthony Holmes? Uh, well, I think at if, least you, for the naked eye, if you look at Anthony Holmes, a true freshman starting um, out there in boundary corner, I thought he did a really nice job for us <clears throat> and uh, really improved you know, quite a bit as the season went on. He led our team in interceptions with three. Josh Richmond um, in the last month had some very good games um, and started to become the kind of player um, that we thought he could become. You know, Jaleel Carter, for only playing receiver for one year, um, I thought he improved greatly as the year went on. Really pleased with his progress as he went through. Um, so we've had, and I think there's a bunch of other guys that have improved as we've gone through. We, we all have to improve a lot more. The coaching staff, we will sit down now and evaluate our, once recruiting is over, we'll evaluate things we did. And, and uh, if we need to tweak something, because we thought it would be better to do it a different way, we'll do that. Um, but we'll evaluate our program evaluate our players and uh, work every day to get better.